Hello fellow investors, welcome to 7 Bulls, a WeGrow affiliate. Today we're diving into an important topic, but often can be confusing, the debt ceiling. Yeah, we're getting into the nitty gritty of how the United States government deals with its money matters. Let's get to it. Alright, imagine you've got a credit card with a spending limit. You can't just go on a shopping spree and blow past that limit without consequences, right? Well, the government works on a similar principle except its credit card is the debt ceiling. So the debt ceiling is like this invisible cap on how much money Uncle Sam can borrow to pay his bills. But here's the thing. When the government spends more money than it has coming in, yes, that happens sometimes. It borrows cash by selling treasury bonds. But there's a catch. The total amount it can borrow is capped by that infamous debt ceiling. If you're finding this video educational, please give it a like and share. It definitely helps us get into this algorithm. Thank you. Back to it. Picture this. Imagine hitting that ceiling, but the bills keep piling up. That's exactly what's been happening in the U.S. government's wallet lately. And when they hit that limit, they can't borrow more to pay their bills. Or at least, that's how it's supposed to work. Because the United States government has the top currency in the world right now, and is used as the reserve currency, the United States is allowed to get away with raising that credit limit. When most other countries cannot, it's like having a maxed out credit card, but with billions and billions of dollars at stake. Now, how does this affect us, the awesome citizens? Well, it's like a financial domino effect. If the government can't pay its bills on time, it can mess with important stuff like paying government workers, funding programs, and even affecting the economy. Plus, it could shake up those Wall Street vibes, causing ripples in the stock market. But hold your horses. It's not all doom and gloom. The government typically finds ways to juggle funds temporarily to keep things rolling. They might shuffle money around or ask for a temporary increase in the debt ceiling to avoid a financial disaster. So, while the debt ceiling drama might seem like a wild ride, it's a big reminder that managing money isn't just a household thing. It's a national, even global thing. And that's a wrap on our crash course about the debt ceiling. Remember, understanding how our government handles its finances helps us stay informed and ready to tackle any money mysteries that come our way. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fun facts and financial fun. Until next time, remember to keep up with your financial education. You're the only one in charge of your future. Be safe. We grew.